What's up guys, and in this video, that's going to be a quick video, and sorry if I'm talking kind of quietly, I try to move my microphone up, but it's, uh, it's kind of late, so, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to show you, uh, if you looked at my HADI uh, review, you'll see that I um, I couldn't get the Coursera Link software to work on um, with the HADI, and I said I did everything correctly, which I did, everything was done correctly, the USB port was plugged into the block. Um, but I didn't get it to work. Um, so this is the fix that happened that happened to fix me. To fix it for me. Oh yeah. Uh. Robert Foley. You want to wave or something? Oh here, here you can be in. You want to say something? Hello. Okay. I I found the uh, yeah I found thanks. To help him fix this. That's yeah yeah. Oh yeah, there's me too. Okay, so I uh. He helped me with it. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you how he helped me fix it in courtesy of the, uh, the form, too. That was, that was a big part. Okay. So what you want to do is uh, Windows key R, and then you can see I just got through with finishing or with the fixing him. And uh, you go ahead and type in reg edit or R E G edit, and then click enter. Um, go ahead and accept that. And then, as you can see, it's open to its. Um, so yours is gonna look all condensed like this. Um, so you're gonna go to h key uh, underscore local underscore machine. Uh, go ahead and open that up. Um, go ahead and open all of these folders up. It's gonna be system, then current control set, then enum. I don't know how to say that. Uh, go down to USB, open that up, and then there's a bunch of ones that have vid. Um, it's gonna be the bottom one, at least for me. Uh, vid one B one C and percent B I or P I D underscore zero C zero four. Open all these up. This is the only one you can open up for every one of them, or just that. And then all the way down to um, just device perimeters. So actually you don't need to open that one up. You don't want to. And then you're gonna have all of these names in the registry and you're gonna go ahead and I think they're all default to set to one except like the bottom two, at least for me it was. Um, and then you're gonna right click on all, all of them that except uh except this one. Um so just the ones that are blue instead of red. So you're gonna click on modify right click on modif right click on it and then click modify and then the value data instead of one it's gonna be zero and that's it just click OK and then you're gonna do this for this one this one this one I think this one's already set to zero and then this one I think is already set to zero too so just make sure all of them are zero so all of these and then go ahead and reboot and um, if it that was your issue and that'll be fixed as you can see that was my issue so then Corsair Link works for me, and I need to plug in my fans to Corsair Link just to see if that'll help, and I can benefit from that. Um, but as you can see, um, hopefully tomorrow I can do that. Oh my goodness. Just open. Okay, I'm having, oh there we go. Okay, some issues. Right, so I'm using the software to control the LEDs as of right now just because it looks cool. Um, and you can just, there's a bunch of options on it. Um, maybe I'll do a separate video, maybe not, probably not. But normal, it cycles temperature, um, based on temperature, which I was doing. You know, I'll play with it. You can pulse it, I mean, just brilliant um, amount of options with that. And just it's not limited to Corsair products. It's you know you can look at all air temperatures. Um, so yeah. I'll see, oh yeah, my temperature is forty seven degrees. So you know not bad for sharing my screen and or uh, recording my screen and being on a Skype call and stuff like that. So uh, that's basically it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this short video and yeah, um, hopefully it fixed your issue. Thank this dude. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Um, peace.